Four Teeth and Cox, I am your RYT 200 hour certified yoga instructor. Today we're going to have an, a really relaxed yin class today. It's going to be yin yoga for uh, to ease the nerves or to calm the nerves. With it being the holiday season, there's a lot of extra stress on many people uh, near and far. And I think this practice would just be very helpful to alleviate a lot of that stress. Um, and I just think it's so important to, again, as I've said in times past, to take a step back, find our breath deep in our stretch and to alleviate whatever's been going on inside. And we hold a lot of our stress in our bodies and particularly our legs. And I'm going to be helping you today or help guide you along the way so we can uh, alleviate a lot of that today. So with that being said, what I am, um, what I ask for you to bring today is of course your yoga mats or a soft surface to practice on. I recommend a blog. If you don't have one accessible, maybe grab a book that is thick enough that will support you. And if you wish, you can bring a pillow and or a blanket. These all will help support you in your practice today and help you get the most out of your practice. Whenever I encourage to do deep stretch practices, I always ask that you bring items that will best support you in order to get the most out of your practice. Because as I like to preach, whenever you stretch beyond your threshold and feel pain, you're doing too much to yourself at that moment, it's okay to ease off. It's okay to be supported because you're setting yourself up for success in that moment. So just make sure you got yourself what you need today before practicing. If you need to pause or come back at another time, go for it. But I want to make sure that you feel safe and supported in today's practice. One last thing, this is all thanks to a partnership to Wilkes Recovery Revolution. I'm so honored to get to share my practices alongside them. Thank you so much for helping me be part of this community in this way. I love getting to share my yoga with y'all and I hope it helps make your day a better one. And also one last thing, I'm sorry. If you would make sure you leave a comment below, let us know what you'd like to see in future practices or if you have any inquiries, let one of us know and check us out on our Facebook pages, Yoga with George Ethan or Wilkes Recovery Revolution. With that being said, wear something comfortable and we'll begin. Let's start in a nice comfortable seat of your choice. I'm going to start cross-legged. This is just to get our breath going here before we do any type of other positioning. Let's take a deep breath in through the nose. Sigh it out. Also an opportunity to those dropping in. Maybe if you want to play um, some music in your room in the background. Others, let's continue our deep breath. Nice and full. Think nice and tall in the spine and exhale. I don't tip or typically place music in the background these days just because everyone has a little bit of a different taste in music. We're going to continue our breath, maybe closing our eyes or softening the gaze. Smooth exhale. As we continue to breathe, imagine a chain of breath. That means as you inhale and hold, smoothly connect it to your exhale and release. Find relaxation with your exhale. Find expansion with the inhale. Together, let's uh, take a moment to set an intention for our practice today. Continue your breathing. All together, inhale. And smooth exhale out. I think I hear Bentley practicing his Ujjayi breath over there. Bentley's least my dog to y'all who don't know. He'll probably visit us some point in the practice. A couple more. Letting go of your day so far, putting aside that to-do list for the day. Allowing yourself 
the permission to be present in this moment, giving gratitude for this moment to be able to practice And for those who are curious, continue deepening your breath as, as I continue to talk. But to those who are new to yoga and not familiar with what yin means in yoga world, yin yoga is it's yoga, but we hold the postures and poses a bit longer. Typically, it's about a minute each pose. This time, it'll be about three minutes per pose. And by lengthening the span, of these postures here that we hold. It will benefit us by deepening our stretch, creating more space in our airways as we breathe deep, and relieve ourselves of so much stress and allow our bodies restoration. Do one or two more breaths in this sedentary space here, allowing the dust to settle, allowing moment of stillness. All right, one more deep breath in through the nose, nice long spine. And as you exhale, relax the shoulders, and we're going to transition into hero pose. Hero pose to those who are new, simply allowing your, well, I begin from all fours, placing your knees together, feet slightly apart, and walking your hips back to place your glutes in between the feet here. Now, to those who are unfamiliar and feel a little strain here, I invite you to use your block or book, and you can position it any way underneath the tailbone here. Kind of, uh, kind to, it, it helps find a little lift and takes away the pressure from the tops of the feet here. You could also use a pillow underneath your hips, and if you have knee issues or are recovering from some sort of knee injury or surgery, I invite you to grab a blanket and place that underneath your knees here for a little bit of support. Again, this is a supported practice and I can't stress enough the importance of allowing support. <laughs> we wanted to try to take on so much in our lives and day-to-day -day activities, especially this time of year, that uh, allowing support or even asking for support seems a little uh, foreign to us, but it's okay to ask. It's okay to get that block or grab the pillow or blanket and allow yourself to get the most out of this practice because even if the stretch might seem small, it accumulates with the time that is spent with your breath. So as we're in our hero pose, we're getting a stretch the tops of our feet. Imagine pressing the tops of all 10 toes to the mat, finding a lift in the sternum. Maybe your hands rest on your thighs. Maybe you rest one palm of the hand on top of the other. Whichever works best for you, think nice and tall here. We're gonna stay here for a couple of minutes. Just breathing. Just existing in the moment. I want to go for just one minute here. Just taking time to notice the ground beneath you, where your body meets the floor, and feel supported in this moment. Even if you want to say a mantra that is invited, you can say that loud or silently, I am supported. Continue bringing your mind to the breath. If it begins to wander, 
simply be present with the body and that's all there is to it it's easy to overthink in the moment it's easy to find yourself wondering or reflecting on the days to come or those of past and that's okay as long as you bring yourself back to the breath bringing that awareness of the air flowing into the lungs and expending the air as you exhale notice the quality of the air in the room notice any sounds notice without judgment Allow yourself to sit with those feelings and simply be. Take one or two more breaths here. Nice, smooth, mindful breaths. All right. Use your hands to walk yourself forward just a bit. Enough so you can curl your toes under. Be easy here. Be kind. And then as you curl your toes under, walk your hips back as we give ourselves a bit of a foot arch stretch here. Now you'll notice right away that your hips no longer sink to the block, and that's okay. That's all right. It may be scary to some because of the pressure on their knees. Again, if you need to get a... a blanket or even roll up your mat to support your knees here it's perfectly fine we're not going to be here for too long simply because of the way the stretch feels and it could be a bit intense for some but uh, the benefits of stretching your feet especially if you're not used to it can be monumental so just sit here for a few moments with me allow your hips to deepen breathe the pink if you can. If it doesn't reach it, like reach the floor yet, that's fine. We're just being mindfully active in the feet here. Breathe in and out. You may notice feel a little intense here. We're just doing this for a minute. We're almost done. Let's try for two more breaths. Last one, nice smooth inhale. And exhale, walk your hands forward. We are on all fours. Lift the feet up and give them ankles a rotation one direction. And another, bringing the blood flow back into the feet. All right, bring your legs together and bring your feet to one side as you walk your hips down and bring your feet flat on the mat in front of you. We're now doing a bit of a shoulder stretch Blocks and blankets aren't required, but always welcome. From uh, Like so, your knees are bent, feet flat. You bring your hands a little bit behind you. You can walk them back. Bend your elbows like crickets and lean back into your shoulders here. Keeping your elbows squeezed together. doesn't have to be an, an, uh, a tight squeeze, but maybe imagine keeping your heart lifted like you're squeezing a pencil and your shoulder blades here should be an excellent shoulder stretch. And you should also feel a nice stretch in the low back body. Keeping mindful of the wrist by place, uh, pressing your fingertips, all 10 fingertips firmly into the mat here. Again, keeping your heart lifted. Breathe. Breathe into those tight spaces, them shoulders, your heart space, the low back. We're gonna hold this for a little while. 
Just imagine keeping your sternum nice and lifted here. Maybe a slight lift of the chin. Like we're smelling a flower, <sighs> smelling some fresh air. This is also excellent for your building better posture. This pose here by creating space in our heart center. It's by squeezing our shoulders, we're kind of giving our spine support here. You may feel a little tingliness in the fingertips. That's fine. We're almost done. Just keep breathing. All right, on your next exhale, bring your hands back forward and walk your feet back behind you or move into all fours. Let's do a couple of cat cows to kind of wake up the spine here. Inhale, drop the belly, heart lifts, look forward. Clawing into those fingertips, pressing your heart space forward. Exhale, draw that navel in and up, pressing away from the mat, chin to chest. Use your breath, take your time, inhale, drop the belly, heart forward, look up. Exhale, clawing to those fingertips, press away from the mat, arc your back. Draw the tailbone down. Do a couple more at your own pace, making sure the creases of your elbows are facing forward. Pressing the fingertips firmly into the mat. Toes can remain flat or curled under. Now from here, go back to neutral spine and rotate your palms a quarter turn outwards and rotate just a bit to kind of wake them up a bit. Nice, slow, smooth movements, nothing extensive or fancy. If it's easier for you or if it's preferred, you can leave one hand back in its original position and then alternate. If you want a little extra stretch, you can bring your fingers to face the body and do a little rotation. Remember keeping your fingertips firmly against the mat here. If you feel any sort of pain, ease off of it or lessen your rotation a little bit. It does not have to be perfect. It doesn't have to fit a certain mold. No, I am merely just a guide here. When you're done, maybe you can flip the palm so it's facing upward, keeping the other one palm face down and rotate, keeping your fingers pressed against the mat, giving your stre a stre uh, giving your wrist, wrist a bit of a stretch, excuse me. Breathe here, breathe deep. Flip, and flip the palm, switch, opposite side this time. Baby rotations. All right, my friends. So nice and slowly, curl those toes under, bring your hips all the way down to your feet, press firmly into the palms or in the fingertips and begin to lift your hips up towards the sky. Heart 
reaches down toward your feet. Downward facing dog. We're going to remain here for a few breaths here, so breathe deep. Remember to alleviate strain on the wrist, claw into those fingertips, shine those elbow creases forward, and if you wish, you can pedal it out, reaching one heel down and the other back and forth. Breathe. Use your breath to carry yourself from moment to moment, especially if your mind begins to wander. Return to the breath. Okay. Breathe deep. You got this. You might feel a little wobbliness in the arms. That's okay. Press firmly into those palms, those fingertips. Inhale. Exhale out. On your next inhale, begin to slowly walk one foot forward and the other, and we will meet in forward fold at the top of our mats. Remaining folded, knees bent generously as needed. We're going to stay here for a couple of minutes. Maybe grab hold of each elbow and sway gently side to side or remain stationary as needed. Just keep breathing deep. Maybe shaking your head yes and a little no. If you want to practice by straightening one leg and the other to get a little st leg stretch here, you may. There's a, several variations here. I'm having my feet just, to, just at hip width apart so I can focus on opening my hips here. And that's and if your knees are bent, allow your belly to remain laying over top the thighs here. Chin slightly towards the chest. It doesn't have to touch. Or maybe just enough to elongate the back of the neck. Breathe. Creating space in that back body here. All right, inhale. We're going to slide the hands up the legs, bringing them all the way up to the thighs, elongating our spine here, lifting halfway. Nice long stretch in the neck. Inhale and exhale, fold forward. Plant the palms. Bring one foot in between your right one to start, and then slide your left foot back. Bend the front knee as we lower into a lunge. Go ahead and lower that back knee. Again, as before, if your knee needs support, grab a blanket. If your hands need support, take your block here. We're simply going to focus on elongating the spine, opening our heart space here. We're going to hold this for about two minutes. Imagine squeezing your legs into an imaginary line. Looking forward, being light on. Try to imagine not using your hands to support you here or collapsing into this as you want to focus more on opening the heart space and looking forward and being strong in the legs. 
by holding these postures, we're training our muscles to give us support here. That can carry us through our life with a bit more ease. Nice and square at the hips. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Inhale, lift in the sternum. Exhale, relax the shoulders. You're doing great, my friends. Do a couple more breaths. When you're ready, plant your palms, uncurl or curl the back toes under and lift the back knee. Step the back foot up to meet the front, forward fold. We're not going to hold it for near as long as the first time. But shake your head yes and no once more. Once more. And then inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, plant the palms. This time, slide the right toes back, lower the back knee, and find your lunge positioning here. Curling those, I'm sorry, you're evening out them hips, squeezing your legs into an imaginary line, heart nice and open here. Looking forward, breathe. Softness in the forehead, ease with each exhale down the back body. Imagine an energy lifting up the front body as you inhale, and ease in the back body as you exhale. Here we are strengthening our shoulders, our legs, our hips. Finding the support from within to support our joints here. Being light on those fingertips. Pressing firmly into the all four corners of the front foot. Bringing that left knee inward just a bit. You got this. I'm going to do a few more breaths. On your next inhale, lift up just a bit more, and then exhale, bring, I mean, press your palms to the mat and bring that front foot back. We're going to lower into puppy. Now you may use a pillow for your head if you like, but that's optional. But for puppy, you start with on all fours, walk your palms forward, keeping your heart open, Keep walking your palms forward and you're lowering down onto your elbows, allowing your heart to melt down towards the mat. It's a bit more than extended child's pose. You're not grounding your hips down to your heels here. So your, your knees are at a 90 degree angle. But you're constantly allowing your heart to Gravitate towards the floor, keeping those fingertips nice and mindfully pressing into the ground. Breathe into those tight spaces. Those shoulders. That heart space. I'm going to hold this for just a little while. Maybe you allow your forehead to get a nice little massage here on the mat while it's here. Easing a little tension. Don't force yourself into it. Just allow your breath to ease into this position.
Just one more minute here, my friends. You're doing great. Remember to return to the breath as the mind begins to wander. In doing so, you're finding peace of mind. It's helping you lean in to the present moment instead of running from. Let's do three more breaths. Last one. As you exhale, lift your heart back and allow your hips to lay onto the mat, keeping onto those elbows, allowing your elbows to rest underneath the shoulder blade or shoulders here and lift your pressing your using your pelvis and your palms and fingertips to press firmly into the mat lift your sternum up and look forward and then slightly draw your chin to your chest while keeping your gaze forward sphinx pose and imagine like you're pulling the ground beneath you towards your body to help open the heart space. Get a nice stretch in the back of the neck, in the heart. Breathing here. It's a very regal position. Remember to bring your focus in on the areas that your body meets the mat, adding a little pressure. You might feel a little shakiness. This just means your body's alive. Bringing yourself to the present moment does help alleviate stressors from the world around us. It helps you bring focus into your mind's eye. Being present with your body really allows you to be in tune with how you truly feel. When we take time to listen to our body's needs, it really helps us understand how to better A, assess what we need and helps us kind of find our own medicine in our own way. And yoga really helps open a lot of doors for that. The most important tool is our breath as it is carried with us each and every moment of our lives. All right, my friends, lower all the way down, allow your ear to rest onto the mat one way. And then we're gonna make cactus arms. Like so. So you have your like you're making a goal post with your arms here. We're going to start with, a, we're going to do a pectoral stretch here. So starting by stretching the right pectoral, we're going to slide our left palm in line with our chest here, making a 90 degree, well, a little less than 90 degree angle here. Peek if you need to, keeping your right arm in that goal post position without moving it. And uh, that length from your shoulder to elbow needs to be in a straight line here. Next, we're going to press firmly into our left palm, lifting our right chest up, getting a nice stretch in the right. Uh, we're lifting our left, left chest up, stretching the right chest. Breathing here. It's really subtle movement, but effective. Some, um, if you feel like doing so, you can elongate that arm and the right arm straight. But that's entirely optional, just if you want a little extra stretch here. Also, if you want a little more, you can continue the body roll by lifting your left foot up and bringing it to the outer edge of the right leg. But that's, um, that's only if you want to, that's not required. Or you could just stay nice and grounded here. Breathe. 
breathe, breathe, breathe. Breathe into that tight space. Just a couple more breaths here. You got this. You're doing great. All right, lower down, goal post arms, bring back the right palm to near the chest here and lift up that right side this time, stretching the left. Again, peek if you need to for positioning's sake. Breathe, breathe, breathe. I don't know where all of you are, but it's raining here in Wilkes County, North Carolina. It's a nice a day to be low to the ground to kind of find ease. Allow your breath to carry you from one moment to another. Deepening the stretch. And lower. All right, we're back all the way flat on that. Press up to all fours, bringing your knees and feet together. Again, if your knees are sensitive, allow yourself the blanket. Maybe you could take this moment to bring your pillow or block to where your forehead will lay. We're going into child's pose to breathe into our low back bodies here. So allow your head to lay down first. Swim your arms back behind you and allow the palms to rest and breathe here. Breathe into the shoulders. Feel the fascia of the back body stretch with each breath. Allow yourself to feel supported. Feel the spaces of, and the places of the body that touch one another and where they touch the floor. Maybe give your forehead a bit of massage again. Massaging the brow. Alleviating some of that. Um, sinus pressure. Keep breathing. You may have noticed already that we're more we're, we're well more than halfway through the practice today. So just be aware that yin yoga doesn't have to have a lot of poses. Hi, Bentley. But you hold them to get the most out of your stretches today. All right, lift back up. Move aside the pillow and block for now. We're going back to all fours and moving into, um, we're, we're going to move into our thread the needle arms. So to do so, we'll start with the right hand, place the left palm in the center of the mat, lifting your light, right hand, light hand, I said, uh, up to the sky. As we do our exhale, we're going to bring our right arm in and through this hole we created. Allow your ear to rest here. Now you may keep your left palm flat on the mat, but if you wish also you can extend that left palm, bless you Bentley, beyond the short edge of the mat.
you come to join us? He's curious. <laughs> Breathe into that right side of your neck, that left shoulder as well, and the space in between the shoulder blades. Doing well, my friends. Uh oh. <laughs> Keep holding that position while I check the camera. I think he tripped over a cord. I'm sorry. for another moment or two, just breathing. All right, switch, press into the left palm, lift that right hand back up to the sky, and then switch. Place your right palm down now, lift the left hand up, and then reach through here, breathe deep. Maybe extend your right palm this time. You're doing amazing. a nice stretch in the left side of the neck here. We hold a lot of tension in our neck as well as our legs, so give yourself a little extra love here. And when you're done, press up, lift your left hand to the sky, and play palm back down. All right, here's our peak pose. We're going for pigeons. So from all fours, we're going to bring our right knee into the chest and we'll lay the right leg out long like so. Again, you can utilize the block here and place it underneath your right hip if needed, but that's not required. And maybe take your pillow here so you have a little support. And starting with lifting your heart up and then lowering down. Allow your head to rest on your arms or pillow. Giving yourself a little leeway here. Finding a nice stretch in the right glute and the left hip flexor. Breathe deep. I'm gonna go for two on each side, two minutes each side. Hi, Bentley. <laughs> Breathe deep. This is the most beneficial part of today's practice, if any, as we are stretching our legs now, which we hold the most tension throughout our days. You might notice this is a bit more of a difficult stretch than others. Give yourself another minute. You're doing wonderfully. You may have noticed a change in how your heart rate feels compared to when you started. All right. Use your toe, back toes to bring your knee up. Unwind that back, the front leg, and switch. Draw your left knee in. Cross the leg and step the back leg back. 
Begin by lifting up in the heart space, then lowering down. Bringing your forehead down to your arms here, breathing deep. You're doing wonderfully, my friends. Give yourself some credit. You took time today to practice some yoga. And with regular practice comes big benefits. Breathe deep. Just a few more moments. When you're ready, lift up, draw that back knee forward a little bit and unravel. And we're going to move onto our backs. Take your time getting here. Grab hold of your thighs and roll back nice and slowly. From here, we're going to place our feet flat on the mat. We're going to take our blocks for support and lift our hips up. And depending on how high you wish to go, we'll flip our blocks as needed as we go into supported bridge. Now your bridge can look several different ways. It can just be like the standard bridge can have your hands interlaced like so, or hands flat on the mat. And even you can lift one foot up and then the other, Get, giving yourself a chance to kind of switch the flow of how the blood flows in the body. This is all in the mindset of self-care, self-love, Seasonal holidays are hectic, but we don't give ourselves enough time to give ourselves a little self care as it is so needed in order for us to make the most out of our days. Ain't that right, Bentley? Breathe deep. Just holding this for a few more moments. We're just one more minute. Squeeze those shoulder blades in, bringing them underneath the heart space, keeping that lift in the chest. Okay, my friends, we're going to now remove our blocks, lower all the way down. Maybe allow yourself that pillow to be underneath your head and open your arms out wide or to gold post as needed. Squeeze your knees in towards the chest. We're going in for a supine twist first on the left side. So lay your legs on down to the left. Maybe bring your gaze to the right. Nice heart opener. Keeping it nice and easy here. You may not have felt like this could have been a big exercise, and it's in its own right. It's all about the breath and calming 
your nerves. Sometimes finding stillness and quiet can be its own reward. Continue your breath here. And, and breathe in, squeeze your knees in towards the chest, and then open the arms back to Texas T or goalpost arms and lower your knees to the right this time. Bringing your gaze to the left. Really, that tickles. He's giving me sugars. Thanks for the kisses, buddy. I love you too. Breathe into that left hip. Bentley, which is it, buddy? Okay, now my friends, bring your knees back to center. Now, usually I give yoga freestyle, but I'm just going to do one more posture here, which is or pose, which is happy baby to stretch out the hamstrings bring up one foot at a time it's great for all aspects of the inner leg i'm just taking my peace fingers grab the big toe kicking one foot up maybe you could grab the outside of the feet Just a couple moments here before we end in Shavasana. Bentley, you're a little antsy. You want to practice yoga? Hmm? And we lower our legs. You can have a cup. Well, if you want to do yoga freestyle, I would recommend supine uh, dragonfly pose or supported dragonfly legs. But whenever you're ready, relax the legs. You can even grab your blanket and place it over top of you. Allow your palms to fall gently to your sides, facing the sky. And we'll lay here for a few moments. And I'll conclude us in a moment. But for now, allow yourself time for stillness and <laughs> and quiet <laughs> and I'll conclude in a moment remember to allow your breath to carry you from moment to moment and when your mind begins to wonder return to that breath
Okay, my friends. Allow yourself to bring your awareness back into the space. I invite you to begin bringing life back to your fingers and toes. When you're ready, begin swaying your head, your head one side, another. We begin to stir our bodies by bringing our knees up, feet flat on the mat. Take your time here and allow your legs to fall over to one side. And then you can stay here as long as you want. You can lay here as much as you need to, but when you're ready, press up and we'll meet in a seated position of your choice. We conclude yoga as we do always by extending gratitude to ourselves and the world around us for the practice. And I thank you for joining me here today. I bow to you and say the sacred yoga term, Namaste. The light in me sees and honors the light in you. Thank you guys for joining me. I hope you have felt a lot more calm after this practice today. And I hope this practice has uh, brought you some inner joy, even if just a little. Tune in next time. We have another great practice for you at 11 a.m. virtually. And if you ever have any questions or ideas that you'd like to share, comment below or message us on our Facebook pages. It's an honor to share this with you guys. I love you all. Have a wonderful week and I'll see you again next time. Take care. We did good boys.